let's have a look at the three for two. Yeah, three for two um, for Christmas presents. But there were some nice things in there, but they didn't have a great selection in all honesty. Um, I went into Superdrug. I did get a few bits and pieces in there. Um, did get the slippers as well. I got them in Dulces. So I need to pop to Aldi's. So yeah, pop them into Aldi's. Got some bits for lunch. And as if by magic, I'm out of here. I literally, I just popped in there. Oops, what's happening with my phone? Didn't need an awful lot. Somehow I'm 55 pounds something or other down, down. But I did pick up um, quite a lot of dog treats and I picked up loads of chicken breasts for them as well. Um, also picked up, you know, your normal things like bread that you need and um, sort of stuff like that. I picked up quite a few um, packs of the oily fish because I'm trying to be really good and to have oily fish at least twice a week now. And you know, fish is expensive, isn't it? Um, pick, I also did pick up a Christmas pudding. I, in the past, have made my Christmas puddings, but they are, when I make them, they are very, very rich. So this year I've decided to buy one because it isn't anywhere near as rich as the one that I make. And if it doesn't taste amazing, then that's a good thing because obviously now with having diabetes, I can only have the smallest of portions anyway, um, just because it's a special occasion. And so, you know, I absolutely love and adore Christmas pudding. And if I'd made one, and again with my Christmas cake and my mince pies, if I'd made my own, as I normally do, I would be tempted to eat them. Whereas if I buy them, that kind of saves my soul a little bit. I don't feel as bad. Oh, I won't feel as bad. I still got a portion of everything because that's my trouble with my finding it difficult to stick to the right portions. Um, yeah, if I like something, I want to go back and have another bit, but no, I'm not doing that anymore because obviously I've got like the kids coming for Christmas and that, and I'm not going to deprive the family just because I can't eat everything. So, what I'm, I've decided I'm going to allow myself two days of eating normally and that's going to be Christmas Day and Boxing Day. Boxing Day I think is going to be a lot easier um, because I'm hoping a lot of the naughty stuff would have gone and we tend to have a lot more sort of cold meats and salads and um, sort of that sort of stuff don't you? But you know I'm not going to, life's too short going to say well it's Christmas I'm not going to even celebrate by having something nice I'm going to but as I say I'm gonna like just have the correct portions and I'm going to just limit myself to the two days and then again on probably New Year's Day I'll indulge again and then it'll be New Year's resolutions. So I'm not going to set myself any unrealistic for 2019 but my new year's resolution is going to be just to take more care of myself um, whether that's just my well-being as in you know my mental health um, my diet looking after my health and with the intention of actually getting my backside in the swimming pool because 12 minutes in the swimming pool, providing you're swimming and not just in the shallow end chatting, um, 12 minutes in the swimming pool burns off 100 calories, guys. So, yeah, good. Good, good, good. You just don't go replace some bait and something that's 100 calories. Anyway, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you soon in a minute. Cause I'm Hi, guys. Welcome back. I'm home and I'm going to show you everything that I got today. 
I'm going to go with the bits and pieces that I picked up in um, Superdrug first. I picked up this, just the L'Oreal, um, the men's L'Oreal Men Expert, and it's just shower gel and deodorant. So, um, I also picked up this. This is called Mix and Fizz. Which you've got um, for the bubble baths or shower gels, and then you've got the um, bath salts here, and they're made to look like they're cocktails, and they're the cocktail fragrance as well. So you've got here, you've got Pina Colada. Um, bath or shower gel and then you've got the pe uh, pina colada fragrance in the bath salts here you've got pink fizz and the same up here um, strawberry bellini same up there and espresso martini is the last one so picked up that one as well the only other thing i actually got in the super drug was another hair dye for me Oh, this is a different one. Um, same colour, intense red, but this is their own. So this is Superdrug's own. Um, and it, it is, actually, it works in 10 minutes. So this is only on your head for 10 minutes, as opposed to like 30 minutes, like it normally is. So what they're saying is, it's a lot kinder for your hair, because it is only on there for, for the 10 minutes. So... Yeah, give that one a go. So that's the, the colour. Yeah, so these are mine. They're just like the beigey, sort of neutral, natural colour. Um, with like a faux fur inside all the way through. Really quite plush, soft. And they've got the rubber ice so I can wear them outside if I want to. Got them in a size four. And the slippers were two for two pairs for ten pounds and these are chris's they're black they're looking a bit navy but they are actually black again they've got the um sort of rubberized sole at the bottom and the slip on as i say they were two for ten pounds and this is what i picked up now um this is a kilogram this is a kilogram box of the langham's chicken fillets not the ones that you stick in your bra yeah for the dogs so but they were a really good price six cans of the owls dog food and jelly um i picked up a pack of the the scourers these are the non-scratch ones also picked up this for a gift it's for a baby and it's called a tummy time pillow you know when you've got your baby and when you lay them on their tummies, especially as they start to get a little bit older, and they lift their heads, um, but then their head suddenly falls down to the ground. Well, the idea of this is it's a little pillow, and you lay them over it. And then it's got lots of things, like a little, little fake mirror thing and play thing, activity things. I saw these back in the summer, um, but they've reduced them now, and they're 99p each, and I want them for the step on outside of the French doors. They've got a double step outside of the French doors and of course with the bad weather coming they might get a little bit slippery so I've got picked up two of these for 99p each guys and it's like that fake grass but only they're rubber. They're made of rubber. Mixed pepper stir fry. Ravioli with ricotta and basil. Chocolate biscuit selection, there, so I've got those, they're all chocolate biscuits, that's what they look like on the back. Shortbread biscuits with the, the two little Scotty dogs on. Um, these are the Snack Light mini cheese bakes, and um, also picked up these, the root vegetable crisps. Two lots of the oily fish. So I've got a smoked mackerel, uh, a pack of smoked mackerel fillets, these, and then I got the, um, these are mackerel fillets again, but these are the peppered ones, and these have got lemon flavouring, lemon flavouring and parsley, so two different types there. I just picked up one sachet of rice, and up this, the spray light, it was a lot cheaper than actually buying the one cow stuff. A loaf of bread, which is low carb and high protein. I also picked up this. It's a Thai green curry paste. And the reason I got that is to go with 
I thought it'd be really nice to cook the ravioli with the the ricotta and basil. And once it's cooked, just sort of shake it into this. Uh, got some lemons. Now I've got this coffee. I've no idea what it's like, but I'm going to give it a go because it was a very, very reasonable price. I can't remember how much, but nowhere near as much as I pay for coffee. So I thought I'm going to give it a go. Um, yeah, if you've had it before, let me know. If it's not very nice, then I'll just use it in cooking or something. Oh, this is for the pedal bin in the kitchen. 40 lavender scented. Well, I picked up four tins of their own baked beans. I looked at, because I'm supposed to be having the low sugar baked beans. They didn't actually have any. So I looked at all the baked beans that they had there. And these were the lowest in the carbohydrates and sugar, their own. A lot of milk, skimmed milk. And last but not least, definitely last but not least, picked up Christmas pud. This is quite a big one, so, and it's six months matured. If you have enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, smash that notification bell, and then you'll be informed when all my new uploads are up for you to have a look at. I'll talk to you all in the next video. Until then, my lovely, stay safe and stay fabulous. Bye.